All right, Charlie Five, when we think about bowl games, a lot of people roll their eyes now. There's not a whole lot of interest, at least as much as there used to be. But I think the bowl practices are huge, and we, you and I have both heard good things about some of the young guys regarding practice. But who are you looking at in this bowl game? Because there's, it's going to look a little different in some position groups than others. The defensive back room is going to look way different. The receivers could look different just because so many guys transferred out the depth of it. It's going to look a little bit different. Is there a position group or a specific player that you're saying, okay, I can't wait to see more of this guy against Maryland in the Music City Bowl? Yeah, absolutely. There's two guys in particular that I'm I'm excited to see. I'm I'm really excited to see. Uh, this, this does shouldn't be a cop out because he's changing positions. Uh, sort of. You're I'm really Keontae. excited to see Keontae Scott at, yeah. at at outside corner. Um, and see how he he shapes up there because I think that's where they want him to be next year. I, want, I think they want him to be one of those lockdown uh, corners, which you and I both have been sort of like reticent. You're like, okay, we're moving him away from the ball. Let's see how this works out. We like him close. Yeah. We like him making plays. But it, sometimes, sometimes being if you can lock down and be away from the ball, that's better than you know that's better than being in there making tackles. If you can if you can eliminate um, a, a big time receiver. Uh, and I think I think Maryland. I don't think they have like just world beater receivers, but I think they do have some guys uh, make some plays because I think you know they throw for a billion yards a year. So yeah, and uh, what what do the receivers look like with no Talia Tagovailoa? I mean, how does how does that impact things too? But yeah, I think Keontae is a great one. I think you could say the other side of the coin is K and Lee. What does he look like when it's like okay, here you go. We've seen it. We've seen it in smaller chunks of time, but now it's like here. This is yours. Go take it. Go set the standard for what you want to be as an outside corner in uh, in 2024. So uh, absolutely, the cornerbacks will certainly, certainly be a big part of what this looks like or what we're looking for in uh, in this bowl game. A guy for me is actually Jay Fair. Charlie Five, we've talked about all these new receivers coming in. We've We've kind of talked about how it impacts these outside receivers. But I keep hearing great stuff about Bryce Kane, and so I just kind of wonder. I kind of wonder if there's any extra pressure on Jay Fair with some of these young guys coming in, and also Kayla Burton. Uh, what does Jay Fair do, and how does he perform in uh, in in this week's bowl game against Maryland? That that's what I'm looking at is Jay Fair. Yeah, I mean Jay Fair. I, I think it, it, somewhere uh, towards the middle of the season he got a little dinged up, and uh, I think that's when. Javarius Johnson was started to get healthy. So they kind of like flip flopped. So I think he's good now. And he's really him and Burton are some of the better receivers that we have left. Uh so on you yeah. know on the roster with transfer well with the few that we've had transfer and things like that. So um if you're gonna have a passing game, it's gotta go through them, I feel like. I mean, it's gotta go through them and Rivaldo, but uh you got I would love to see Jay Fair uh have a big game and be able to kind of, you know catapult into next year and be a leader uh in that in that wide receiver room so that's that's one that i'm i'm definitely excited to see wide receiver in general but I, i'm i'm very excited about jay fair because i think he's a good player yeah yeah transferring out jair shorter amari kelly malcolm johnson jr javarius johnson and i guess shane hooks and nick martin will be playing in the game wouldn't that be frustrating if one of them just popped off it's like where where was this where was this that no you know what insane. let's just my thing, my thing about watching the game Saturday is there's going to be no agenda. It's just that you know what, this is a bowl game that doesn't really. Let's just go win. You know what, whatever happens, happens. Let's just go. Let's just go win. If somebody does well, that that unless Keontae Scott's just like the best thing ever at outside corner and gets two picks or something, the agenda is Keontae Scott's the best corner in football. That 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 would be an agenda. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I tell you, I don't know why. I got this feeling. Yeah. Uh, I got this feeling that this could be a big Jeremiah Cobb game. I don't know. I think it's because Hunter has been sort of wishy washy on NFL or or stay. I think he's going to stay eventually. I think he's going to stay. But but like, do, do you try to save him from uh fr- you know from uh you know possibly get getting injured so he can go have a big senior season. Also, the passing game, I feel like Cobb's a big threat in the passing game, and you've got a couple of receivers gone, so you're going to have to manufacture passing yards somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm expecting a, a big play or two out of, uh, out of Jeremiah Cobb, and 
he's looked like a freak every time he's touched the ball. So uh, these are the kind of games where you get guys like this, like him touches. You get you, you see what those kind of guys can do. And I, for some reason, I don't know if it's going to be a screen or or some kind of you know wheel route or something down the field. I, I just feel like he's going to make a big play in the he passing game. One. Yeah, he's going to pop one. This is the kind of game for that. I like that. I like that a lot. I I can't wait to see the personnel usage because yeah. one, th this paired with the transfer portal, the timing of it doesn't seem to make sense. But I don't know what a better solution would be. But also, Hugh Freeze seems to care more about bowl games than the previous head coaches at Auburn did. And I just think these players are going to treat this game like it's really important because their coach is coached into them that it's really important. And that'd be refreshing because I'm glad there's usually a big narrative going into bowl games that they don't matter. And I haven't really heard that from Auburn people over the last few weeks, which is great because we would all say that they don't matter. And then we'd be upset when we lost one. It's like, well, w w which one is it? I, I, it seems like this team is taking this bowl game very seriously. And that kind of excites me sure. a little bit. This whole culture of if it's not a playoff game or a New Year's six game, it doesn't matter. Well, I think that I think that varies based off of what the locker room thinks. And I think this locker room thinks that this game is important. I love that. Yeah. I mean, he said it. He said, year one, you got to make a bowl. Everywhere I've been, the very first year I've been there, we make a bowl. And he's put that emphasis on that. Like you don't just make a bowl just to say and get a participation trophy like you're trying to make a bowl to go win it so you can have a winning record. I think yeah. that's a big thing. Winning record after year one means a lot, even if it's mm -hmm. seven and six. Uh, and, and I think he's, again, I think that's a, a matter of pride for the players too, uh, yeah. especially the guys, um, you know, that are, that are trying to be a part of this build, the part of this rebuild. Hey, we want to, you know, we don't want to have a, a losing record year one. We want to, you know, go ahead and start this thing off with a winning record. We've had two, losing records in a row like let's 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 get this thing going in the right direction we're tired of it so go go to nashville you got a really good opportunity against a maryland team who's got just absolutely riddled with with portal transfers uh one yeah. one that we're i think one that's probably going to be visiting uh as soon as the <laughs> as soon yeah, as the, the portal, tight end yeah the tight end is soon and he's he's a freak and he's not playing so uh, yeah, you got a good opportunity to go out, and and they seem to be they seem to be um, really into that. Mm -hmm. I'm with you, and uh, this a, is such. A, I mean, with all this young talent coming in, you if you're it. a receiver, if you're a defensive lineman, there are this, kids coming for your job. This is an audition. You beat me this to it. Is, yeah, show me you deserve to be the guy at this position. Because if not, there are some hulking super teens coming to take this job from you. There are some studly young children coming to take your job. And that's why schools like Georgia and Alabama and all these guys are, are so uh, – it seems like they just continue to reload is because of competition, because of yes. stuff like this. And and this kind of stuff makes people better. So when you start stacking classes and kids are fighting each other for positions and, and they're pushing each other, that's how you get better. And like like you said, there's some defensive linemen, there's some there's some receivers, there's some, there's some defensive players that are coming. Hey – Jalen McLeod, don't slip. You better, you, you're coming back, but you better get ready because you got some pass rushers coming in that are just as big as you already. And there may not be quite as, as fast as you yet or, or as seasoned as you, but you better be ready. You better mm -hmm. be out there. You better be getting after it. Linebackers, you're practicing with some of them right now. <laughs> so you know how good they are. So you better get ready. You better come out and you better show out. And that's what I, I, I'm hoping that's what you see is. All right, I, I'm. I, this is this is my last year. I don't want to get beat out by a freshman. I want to come out here and and and, and you got the freshmen that are ready to play. So uh, it's just a great environment. It's a great environment to have that kind of levels of competition uh, throughout. So yeah, go show out and don't lose your job. That's right. That's right. Or somebody's going to take it.